subscribe click on the bell like comment share the chart shows what minerals are needed by healthy green plants macronutrients are usually required in large amounts and micronutrients in extremely small quantities both the nutrients are supplied to the plants as dissolved salts in the soil agricultural scientists have to find out what mineral is lacking when plants are showing signs of nutrient deficiency from the signs shown by the plants the agricultural scientists have to use qualitative and quantitative analysis to find out and confirm what is lacking in the soil only by establishing what is lacking in the soil the agricultural scientists are then able to recommend the types of fertilizers required salt x contains a cation and an anion carry out the following test to identify salt x key in the observation and inference in the table and finally the conclusion in the space provided dissolve the white salt in some distilled water Dissolve the white salt in some distilled water. Place half a spatula of salt X in a test tube. Heat the test tube strongly. Bubble the gas released through lime water. Place a glowing splinter near the mouth of the test tube. Test the gas released. Add sodium hydroxide until excess into a test tube containing solution X. Add ammonia solution until excess to solution X. Add dilute sulfuric acid and freshly made iron 2 sulfate solution, then add concentrated sulfuric acid carefully down the inside wall of the test tube. Add dilute nitric acid, then barium nitrate solution to solution X. Did you get them right? You have just succeeded in identifying an unknown solution X. X is zinc sulfate solution. There are four types of general procedures when carrying out qualitative analysis. They are by studying the physical properties of the salt, observing the action of heat on salt, Tests for ions and carrying out confirmatory tests for both anions and cations. Match each of the tests carried out to identify the salt X with one of the types of general procedure of qualitative analysis. In this lesson, we have learned how to plan qualitative analysis to identify salts. The mind map summarizes the four main procedures 
when planning a qualitative analysis of salts. Observing the physical properties of the salts is the first step. Establishing the solubility or insolubility of the salt in water will indicate the absence or presence of some anions and cations. Heating salts strongly may produce gases which when identified may determine the anion or cation present. Using sodium hydroxide and ammonia solutions to produce various precipitates may tell us the cations found in the solutions. Confirmatory tests are tests that are special for identifying the cation and anion. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe.